Hi everyone, how are you all doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Today I wanted to share with you all some of my Amazon favorites because a few nights ago I was taking a shower and I was getting stuff from my shower curtain and I was like, I have to share this with you all. I have to share it with them. It's so cool and it's kind of like, kind of like an extra bonus that you don't think about. But then <clears throat> Um, I was thinking about other things I've gotten from Amazon recently and not so recently and I thought, oh, I need to make an Amazon favorites video. So let's start off with the shower liner. So let me scoot over to the side. I'll put the photo here. So it's a shower liner, shower curtain liner, so the one that goes on the inside that has these mesh pockets um and it's just so genius because it's made of this mesh and so it's really breathable um like water can like easily get out of you don't have to worry about like mold or mildew and the bottom of the shower curtain have like these gigantic pockets and then and then there's like a second row of like medium sized pockets and then the top row are smaller pockets. And if you're like me and your bathtub situation is where like there's not a lot of storage, like I only have like two corners of the bathtub and I could put like a shampoo and a conditioner and that's it. But I have other stuff that I want to put in like, you know, body wash, face wash, my Clarisonic, my loofah, or not loofah, the, my scrub towel thing. And so I needed more storage. And so I found this on Amazon. I thought it was genius and it's not too expensive. The quality is pretty good. I'm going to see, maybe I could get some sort of, oh, well, I'll just put the photo up. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's not that expensive. I, it seems like it can be machine washable, which is nice. Um, it uses the little rings, so you just attach it to the um, curtain rings. And what else? It's just so handy. And I was kind of nervous because I didn't know. I read some reviews, and some of them said that it couldn't hold really heavy things. So I was kind of worried about that. But then I use like the great big like Dove body wash, and it holds it just fine. And so I put the Dove body wash on the like the lowest part. So I feel like it can weigh the curtain down. And then the middle row I put, um, oh, I have blue shampoo and my little scrubby towel thing. And then the top row I have a face wash and a Clarisonic. And I'm definitely going to put like exfoliator. It can put it in there too. It's just so handy. And you could have it technically I guess you could have it like facing the inside of the shower tub or on the outside facing the outside so if you have a small bathroom like I do and you need extra storage that could be a really good way depending on you know which way you want it to be I just chose it for it to be on the inside because for me that just makes the most sense because I need more storage on the inside of the tub and that way you don't have to finick with the stuff like you know those um hanger organizers that go above and you know that like hang above the shower head and stuff you don't have to worry about that anyway so that's very handy it's inexpensive machine washable it's great um it pairs really well with the outside and it doesn't like fly up and have like water spray everywhere either so that's handy next okay i have quite a few things let's stick with beauty and then we'll kind of go like not so beauty so intrinsics wipes. I've mentioned these in my recent favorites video, but these are still so, so handy. These are, I didn't even mention, they're the petite silken wipes. Like I said, you get 200 of them. And instead of a traditional cotton round, it is like a gauze pad and you can open it up. I like to keep it folded, but it's perfect for toner it's good if you want to remove your makeup with me with some 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 some, <laughs> some micellar water it's just so handy and they're so soft they stay together the lint like the little fuzzies don't just get everywhere on your face they're very nice and luckily the price has kind of gone down on amazon oh i'm getting hot sorry <laughs> the light is so bright it's just getting really hot <laughs> Um, luckily the price has kind of gone down on Amazon, I think, during this, uh, let's just call it a virus outbreak situation. The price just surged and it was this crazy, it was like double or almost triple the price originally, you know, what it originally was. But if you know about Amazon, you know the prices change all the time, sometimes multiple times a day. So luckily now it seems to have gone down to maybe five or six dollars. 
I'm personally gonna wait a little bit longer before I buy some more uh, I mean I have plenty more but um to like get like a back stock of it I'm probably gonna wait until it comes down to like maybe four or five dollars just because I just six dollars is a lot for 200 rounds but anyway these are amazing if you haven't tried them yet definitely do they're very different than your average cotton round so all right, so next, I've mentioned these recently when I was doing my brush cleaning video. If you haven't seen it, link it above. I'll also link the favorites video above. Um, these are so great. Now, I couldn't, when I was trying to find um, a link to this, I couldn't find the exact same one, but I found one for this and I found one for this, just not together as a set. And then there was another set that was very similar to this situation. Like, I think it was this and like a heart shaped one which was super cute so you know honestly at the end of the day it doesn't really matter what shape it is just matters like the fact that it has a little suckies that you just fixate into your shout um into your sink and then it has all these different patterns that you can scrub your brushes on it makes it so handy and then i like the little hand one which i use to rinse i just put my hand in and I just rinse the brushes um there's a more detailed explanation in that video so you can go check that out if you want to know more but just know it's inexpensive there's so many options on Amazon and the fact that it's silicone makes me just feel more safe that it could stay um stay clean and you know antimicrobial and stuff like that so next let's talk okay let's talk these because this is kind of random and something that yeah it's just super random but anyways compressed uh they're called coin tissue compressed wipes so that's what you get it's a huge box of 500 of them i did not realize how much you get i mean i did but i didn't think 500 to me 500 didn't register as that many but it's all you get this entire box of them and they're just the compressed little um which they're just like compressed paper towels or compressed wipes. What I like about these is that they can expand into something that I like to use to remove a mask. Because you know, sometimes you are like rinsing your sink, uh, rinsing your face in the sink and it just kind of gets everywhere and it kind of turns into a hot mess. But when you have stuff like this, it's just so easy just to take it, you know, wipe it down. You can kind of reuse it a couple of times before it really just breaks down. But it's just easy removal and I feel like it's multi-purpose. You know, you could, maybe some of you guys like to go camping. Um, maybe you're out and you want to keep a few of these, you know, in case maybe no toilet paper, no paper towel, just, it's just something kind of random that's just really easy to have. And it's so easy to, um, it, the footprint is so small. So let me see if I can get to it. So then look how big it opens. So pretty big. I don't know. Does it have dimensions on here? I don't know how big it opens, but it's a good size. I just think it's so easy to have, you know. I Like I said, I like to use it to remove masks, but you can see it's stretchy. It does break down, so I wouldn't reuse it too many times. But, you know, maybe you're the type of family that likes to camp or... I don't know, you're out and about a lot or you're working outside a lot and you want to carry something like this you add a bit of water and you can kind of just wipe your hands down or not yeah wipe your hands down really not wash but it's just handy maybe you're a mom and you don't want to carry um, a whole pack of baby wipes maybe you could carry something like this it's just it's nice <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it it's just something handy to have this is the type of thing like if I had like a little outing like if I went to a zoo or I don't know, went to like an amusement park or like Disney or something like random like that. I just bring some of these because you never know. Oh, these hair clips. Now I've mentioned these before. I I still use them all the time. You see them in my videos. And my, every time my hair is clipped up, I'm using one of these. They're so wonderful. Um, now that I have a better camera, I mentioned these before in a favorites video a long time ago, but they're these huge four inch clips that are super strong, super sturdy. Um, you don't have to worry about it breaking on you. I've bought, um, I think I've bought four of these and I think I'm down to three. I think one of them, 
I wonder what happened. I mean, I lost either lost it or my dog chewed it up. <laughs> um, but anyways, they're so nice and they grip your hair um, so well. But I would say if you have super thick hair and you're just looking for that one clip that can just clip all of your hair at once, these are your friends. And the color is pretty. You know, it it looks pretty discreet in your hair and everything. These are amazing. I I, I constantly rely on these to put my to put my hair up because I have a lot of hair my hair isn't super like coarse but i have a lot of it and so i'm always looking for something just to clip all of my hair like out of my face and so these are just these are amazing i can't stop raving about these i've used these for a few years now i mean they've really lasted and they're still pretty and then this, these other ones i recently bought these it was a pack of six i think and i thought the pattern was so cute they're like these jelly pastel color. They had so many color varieties, um, but I chose these. And then I also had a pink one and a blue one, but just these colors. I, they just look like candies or something. They're so cute. And these are really nice um, to clip half your hair up or just a small section of your hair. These are smaller, about, they're probably two inch clips because they're pretty much half the size of these big ones and I know these are four inches so these are probably two inch clips and same thing they're pretty strong though I did say one of them did break oh I thought my phone went off uh but the color is so cute and they look pretty in your hair obviously I wouldn't clip it like this but imagine if this was on the back of my head and I had it in some cute little knot it's just um it adds it adds a little bit of color it's probably it's more noticeable than these and they do have more like you know natural hair color ones or whatever but i liked these last beauty item and then i'm going to talk about two pet items if you're a pet owner this is the aesthetica sponge and this is what it looks like brand new uh is it focused yes looks like this it's a black sponge I use it all the time. I just used it um, today when I was doing my makeup. This is what it looks like when it's big. So here, I'll get one of them out. <clears throat> These, here, this is what it looks like dry and then when it's all puffed up. So you can see it expands quite a bit. I think they're very durable. They're extremely soft but durable and they don't absorb too much of your product. I... I like these better than the Real Techniques. I've used the Real Techniques before and I was not a fan. I think it's so hard. Like the sponge surface is just so, so tough. And the, the sponge texture was just really, really hard. And so that I wasn't into that. Um, but I tried the Aesthetica and I love it. It's so amazing. And the price is pretty good. I bought them when they were like... Oh, five or six dollars but it fluctuates sometimes I see them at like three or four dollars sometimes I see them a little bit more but anyways regardless they're an amazing sponge everyone says it's a really good dupe for the beauty blender I think by now there's so many dupes out there I heard the elf one is really good so I want to try that one next but I I honestly haven't used like a new sponge brand for such a long time just because these work so well and the price is really good and I like how it's black um because for me, it's just, I don't know why, I think it's easier to clean and get the stains out. And you can really see, you know, where the makeup is and stuff like that. And I think we're down to our last two pet products. So first one is this. Okay, have you guys used this before? If you own a dog or a cat or an animal that sheds, just listen up. This is called the Chom Chom Roller. Okay, it looks kind of intimidating. It's this giant roller. It has a little hanging loop. And what it is, is, is a roller to remove dog hair or cat hair. Let's just say pet fur from your furniture because I've, my mom likes to use, she uses one of these, which I think is great for clothes, but I feel like you can't really get it from like furniture. It depends and it, depending on the material of your furniture, it doesn't always get it out, but this does. And so you can see up close. There's this like kind of, what's this texture? Almost feels like carpet, low, like what do they call it? Low pile carpet. And it has this little silicone piece. So what you're supposed to do is you're not supposed to just glide it like this across. 
um, it won't pick up the hair. I don't know if I have anything to show you, but you're supposed to like, like this, aggressively run this chom chom roller. You can see that hair flying um, on the surface and you're supposed to hear that sound. You hear it like that? And then it rolls the hair in and it scrapes it back clean. And then you push this little button and all the, do you see it? It's disgusting. Not disgusting, it's just a lot of hair on the inside. It's so handy, you know, no batteries required, and you just go, you just go at it like this, <laughs> and it just picks up all the hair. And it's just really amazing that you should look at the reviews online, um, on Amazon, that they seem to be really good and everyone really seems to like it, but I think I like it because it's just really effective at getting pet fur out because there's nothing worse than when you wear dark clothing and um, you have a light color dog or the opposite you wear light color light colored clothing you have a dark colored dog like a black dog and I have one of each I have a tan and a black dog um, and hair gets everywhere and it gets it stabs you um, so something like this is just it's just nice and then the last thing is a weird thing to end on but this spring you know we're kind of in the spring transition into summertime and so my dogs are out <clears throat> all the time and the big dogs oh my gosh Maya her paws get so so muddy and it gets in between you know her paws and gets underneath her fingernails and she trails it all over the house and my mom or let's say our family are pretty picky I think when it comes to um like their paws and stuff like every time they come in they get wiped down with baby wipes and everything but when it's mud it's not something like one or two baby wipes can handle it's like a full-on towel situation but that's where something like this comes in it's uh, called the mud buster okay and it, it's um it's very strong plastic but the inside you can see how, I don't know if you can see it but it almost looks like like flagella or something like that like flagellum or pill eye or something but what you do it's made of silicone what you do is you fill it with some water and you take your dog's foot and you just like move it in and out and so these little silicone things can grab a hold of the dog's paw and fur and just get rid of the mud and then obviously it's water um, so you'll have muddy water in the end, but that's the least of the worries So then you have to have a towel nearby because their paws get wet So it's basically like washing their feet um, and then you just towel it dry with a, um, a Towel and it's just uh, It's just so much easier than trying to get like a wet towel Situation and having the whole towel all mud your dog in the beginning might not be really used to it because obviously this isn't very natural but I mean it doesn't harm your pup and I have a medium-sized dog and a small dog and this is perfect this is the medium size and it's perfect for the for my lab but it's a little bit small for the little one but honestly my chihuahua pug or chug she doesn't really need something like this like she doesn't have that much mud stuck in between her paws if you have big dogs this is a savior um, if you don't want mud tracked all over in your house. Oh my gosh, I forgot one more thing. It's right here. No wonder I thought it, something was odd. Okay, it's this. Now my lighting is going to change because I was using this as my light source. But it's this Vasor. It's a. It's one of those mirrors, which is it. Well, I'm going to try not to blind you. It's not new whatsoever. Um, it's not a new product by any means, but I really needed a new um, mirror like this and I wanted it to light up and I had previously got one from Zadro is that how you say it but it broke and so I was looking for another one and I found one from Zadro but it honestly isn't bright enough and I felt like I kind of wasted my money but then I saw this one on Amazon and it's only like I think $40 or $60 or something like that and I thought well I mean I'm just gonna try and if it doesn't work out it's okay guys it's bright it's the brightest mirror I have ever had it is so so bright okay so what I love is it has the 1x on one side it's pretty thick which I like the other side do you see that 10x so you have 10x on one side and 1x on the other and so 10 is pretty close like you could see let me see you can see every pore when it's on the 10x and you can put batteries in it or um it has um like a plug 
like a like a little plug-in that I just unplugged and that's what I do it on what do they call this AC power outlet is that what this is called anyways I just do the power outlet and not the batteries but if you have the batteries then it can be wireless just plug it in and then you press right and you're like meh I mean it's not that bright okay that's the lowest one I'm gonna turn it so I don't blind you like this I don't know what you can see but probably my pajama pants and then look how bright it can get I don't know if it's here. I'll turn this off. Okay, there you go. That's how bright it gets. It's so bright. And I love how you can use this little knob, you know, to adjust the brightness. It's easy on off. So that's the lowest, um, like light setting. And then look, it's so incredibly bright and it's a bright light. Hold on. Let me turn on my light, my camera light. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so I think for now that is all of the Amazon favorites I have. I definitely have more, but I feel like some are more suitable for me for the, like a different season for this kind of spring summertime right now. I feel like that's, those are some good things um, from Amazon that I wanted to share with you all. So thank you all for taking the time to watch today's video. Um, if you enjoyed it, definitely give him, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't. And I'm planning on uploading a video on Sunday. So please stay tuned for that. And I'll see you all in that video. Okay. Goodbye.